Hello everyone. The idea today is to demonstrate the Cajon with Brush technique, which is already inside and available in the Creative Percussion online course. So as you can see, uh, with the, the Cajon with Brush technique, you can play, you know, whatever rhythm or pattern. So I, I played a little bit of reggae, crazy reggae, but uh, it was a reggae. But if you wanna, if you wanna play samba, yes, you can. Baião, Brazilian Baião, yes, you can. Six, eight patterns, yes, you can play six, eight patterns. So I would like to demonstrate the idea and uh, so how the technique works and why I decided to create this technique. It's all about stealing the drum set player's jobs. So why is that? Because the idea here is to imitate the sounds of the drums, the drum set. And then uh, just a quick demonstration so you understand what it's all about. So by, by using one single brush, so you can get a very nice hi-hat sound using just the wires. So I'm going to demonstrate now. And you want to be, uh, so you want to play uh, towards the edge of the instrument. Otherwise you're going to get some bass, so we don't need bass. So hi-hat, no bass. So just to demonstrate if we play inside. But if you go towards the edge, so you get a very clean, high-pitched sound, hi-hat like. So I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, that's nice, but so we need a snare. Imagine a drum set without a snare. And then for the snare sound, you're going to use the hard part of the brush. So we're going to hit uh, very much in the same place, which is uh, the edge. That will be your snare sound. And then if you combine both, but what would be a drum set without a bass drum? So for the bass, uh, so we use, uh, you know, the normal regular bass sound uh, for the cajon, but we're going to use our left hand for that. And then, so keep your fingers straight. Uh, don't keep your hand loose, otherwise you get a very dirty sound, you see? So this is, so we don't want that. We want a, we want a very clean bass sound, which I'm going to demonstrate now. And then if we combine... But good news is, uh, you can also use your left hand uh, for uh, having this sound that I call additional snare drum sound. Why that? Uh, because right hand is going to be doing most of the, the, you know, conducting, let's call it conducting uh, aspect of the, uh, of the technique. And then by using your left hand uh, with a high pitched sound, so you're going to get a similar sound to a snare, if you hit uh, the, the, the top of the front plate, So you can use three fingers, two or four, so it's up to you. But sometimes I, uh, I like to use these two. I've got a very crisp sound, very nice sound. And then if I combine, so you're going to understand why uh, we can steal the drum set player's jobs with a cajon and a single brush. So let's do it. Three, four.
So, I think that will be it. Uh, I'm happy to have the opportunity to demo, you know, the Cajon with brush technique. And I should remind you that this technique is already available inside the Creative Percussion Online course. Uh, I invite you all, you know, to visit the, the, the homepage. Okay, so I want to thank you all uh, for showing up here and uh, uh, getting to know the Cajon with brush technique. Thank you very much for being here. Vambora!